Andy, we've talked before about some previous games where you didn't take advantage of your opportunities with runners on base. Today, seven runs, seven hits, and, and you know, took advantage of every opportunity you had out there. We tried to, you know, it uh, uh, offense definitely was not uh, not clean, but uh, you know, to our credit, we kind of hung in there. Um, you know, felt like uh, you know Baron Ratcliffe starting with a hit. Uh, in the eighth inning, kind of uh, got us going a little bit, and then obviously Stephen Reed. I mean, he you know he can hit the ball out of a ballpark at any time, and uh, the kid hung a slider for him and uh, put a great swing on it. Then Waddell comes up, uh, you know, with a chance on left on left to get a hit, got it. So uh, just proud of the way we're kind of hanging in there. Rodig obviously didn't have much at all today, but kind of tried to grind through it, and then. Everybody else kind of just uh, hung in there and got some outs for us. And Sammy Crawford in the end, uh, you know, I thought that just showed a lot of poise of uh, walking the leadoff guy in the ninth and then punching the next three guys out. So uh, it's a series win. Uh, hopefully we can stay hungry. We got to play better. I mean, we're not playing our best baseball, but, you know, we're happy that we uh, have won this series. Look at Crawford. Uh, another one of the young pitchers that's now two and zero on the staff, and he he just looks like he has confidence when he's out there on the mound. And that's that's really a good sign. You know, he he doesn't uh, you know like some pitchers you can tell they're not really yeah. sure of themselves, but he seems to be. I think for him, he just uh, he's worked so hard just to get an opportunity to be on our team, and and uh, you know definitely was not highly recruited, so. He's relishing his opportunity, but more than anything, he's put a lot of work in the last two years just to be able to take advantage of this opportunity. You were looking for somebody to pick up the slack from uh, Tristan and, and Kyle, and so far, Reed's doing his best to, to do that. Reed has been the guy, honestly. I mean, obviously, got great power. Uh, and probably the thing that impressed me is that the guy threw him a couple good sliders in that at bat and kind of maybe didn't look great on him and then made a bad pitch, and then he hit it. And I think that he's capable of doing that. We've seen him do it in practice where he might look bad on a pitch, and then you throw that same pitch again. If you don't get it where it's supposed to go, uh, he can do damage, and he did that today. There are not many balls that go over that batter's eye. And so it was good to see. We needed it, and it was great to see him uh, come through right there. And, of course, all his home runs so far have been no doubters. I mean, you know the minute it leaves the fact that it's, it's going. He has that. He's got tremendous power. Yep, tremendous power. Uh, I guess part of the problem today, starting with Rodick, was finding the plate, 10 walks, uh, just not being able to throw strikes got you in trouble a little bit. No doubt. You know, he just he had a hard time just locking in on uh, anything. To his credit, he when he got in trouble, he seemed to, you know, lock in, focus a little more, and got some outs, kind of, you know, kept them from scoring a bunch on us. I think, you know, you see five walks and four innings with four hits, and you figure they got four or five runs. But to his credit, he only gave up two. Of course, Jackson Finley came in and you know, got a couple of big outs there. Finley got a couple outs. You know, Arnold, we brought Arnold in kind of in a tough spot, and he wiggled out of it. Right. Uh, you know, so no, it was, uh, it was good. Your relievers were able to keep them away from big innings. Yeah, and that's, that's the key. I mean, they. Uh, you know, you you look, they left 13 on base, so they definitely had opportunities. And so we were able to limit damage with guys on. And, you know, a lot of times the toughest pitches a guy's going to make are when guys are on base. And today, most most of the time, our guys make good pitches. And of course, it's nice to, to win that opening series of the ACC. No question. You know, no question about it. Playing at home and, uh, uh, you know, so happy that we have the series won. And, Going to face a really good pitcher tomorrow, you know, maybe their best guy. And uh, so, you know, probably look forward to, you know, seeing him and uh, getting ready to go. Okay, thank you. Steve, 104 off the bat, I imagine you knew it was going the minute you left your bat? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, what, what, uh, what pitches were they throwing to you prior to that, uh, that last uh, slider? Uh, pretty much every at bat, it's pretty much mostly going to be always off speed, no matter what the count is. And he, that guy was throwing 95, so I knew once he got ahead, he was probably he was either going to go fastball or off speed. So I was sitting fastball, and I just adjusted to the off speed again. So four, 14 games into the season, do you feel like 
teams are starting to pitch you pretty much the same way. Right? Yeah, for sure. They're yeah, they're all going breaking balls and stuff like that. But facing good teams and seeing, especially like UGA, seeing their sliders and stuff, it gives us like our lineup a good edge against good pitchers. When knowing that, what's your game plan when you come up to the plate? Uh, just staying through the ball, not trying to do too much. Never try to never try to do too much. Just stay through it. No matter what you did the f before, like the other two bats, like I was over two. Just same same approach going into the plate every time. When Barron had the leadoff single, was there anything you were looking to do? Oh, just keep passing the bat back. He did a great job getting on base, and I knew it was late in the game, so I knew we were gonna have to get something going. I wasn't looking to do too much. I was looking to just get the next man up, get just get some runners on base, and score. Yeah, you've been the consistent DH now. Is there anything you do? Between innings or between at bats to, to stay ready or. Oh uh, yeah, uh, DH innings has given me a good opportunity to just focus on my hitting. I'll go back into the uh, the dugout or the uh, the players' locker room and I'll just look in the mirror, do some swings, dry swings, stuff like that. But yeah, being DH gives me a really good opportunity to just lock in on hitting. Uh, your first two ACC games. Uh, wh what do you what do you think of the caliber of pitching compared to what you're used to in high school? Uh, definitely, definitely a big jump from high school. Uh, but once once I started, once we started facing pitchers here, it's just you get used to it. But all the arms we're gonna see are good, and every pitcher, every bullpen that we're gonna face is gonna be good. But our lineup's good too. So you feel comfortable where you are in the lineup now? Yeah. You know, as far as seeing good pitchers, that type of thing. Yeah, for sure. They get on base and they give me a good opportunity to see pitches because they can't they can't walk me because they got guys on base. So. Of course, with the Jackson starting to heat it up a little bit now, and that's going to help you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.